What's up, guys? A Rods RC here. Back to have a little light install video. I finally got it figured out. Finally. Turns out I was just a complete moron and wasn't connecting my splitter right. And that's it. Lights work. I went to uh, my hobby shop that I always go to. Remote Control Hobbies in Portland, Oregon. That's where it's at. So basically I was just connecting it wrong. So I don't know if you can see it. You can't. There's a little port underneath here. Couldn't find a connector anywhere. Nobody knew what it was. Nobody could find it. Some Facebook groups, or not Facebook, YouTube groups helped me out. And <clears throat> still didn't work. Basically, I had this piece the whole time and was just using it wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the servo from the ESC, plug in our splitter, right there, make sure we're in there, plug in our ESC, black to black, I don't know why, I wasn't noticing that yesterday, but that was the whole ordeal. I was not connecting things right. And that's why. Come on. My lights on my servo weren't working correctly. So, we got that. Here's the light power supply. Once again, connect them correctly. My battery should be charged enough to make sure that these bad boys work. So I got my controller. And boom. Here's the connector for the light bar. That is going to be sweet looking on this Ford. Those lights are going to go up in here. So, we've got our tail lights and our headlights. It's going to be sweet. Let's do some installing. I got my mini zip ties <coughs> to get going. I also got some of these bad boys. They might go on the Ford. They might not. Another thing I wanted to show you real quick before we come back with the lights installed is this little RC. It's my daughter's. Servo went out. Don't know if I'm going to try and fix it. It's just a little toy RC. But what I was thinking is taking those tires off 
making them work and going on the enduro how sweet would that look let me know what you think in the comments about that possible look all right let's install these lights all right guys there she is i do have some work to do on the front end uh these wires here for the lights are preventing this from <clears throat> touching the velcro down there so i'm gonna have to see about raising those light bars or the bumper or something but anyways once i do this thing looks sweet Now I didn't install the tail lights on the actual vehicle. There's a spot for a rear bumper. I just put them down there. You can still see them somewhat. I might change that later. But as of now, that's the rig. with the lights. Installed it in the provided light buckets on the front bumper. I'm gonna try and disguise this a little bit more. I used my tool here. make a little hole for the wire to go through but yeah as soon as I get that front end down smooth all right there's a quick one from a rods RC next lights are going to be installed on the element and maybe these tires all right till next time peace out from a rods rc all right <clears throat> so i'm back it's installed the lights are it's kind of hard to see but i had to extend the bumpers on the charisma because the part connected to the lights is a little stiff and the body wouldn't sit on the velcro but here it is here's the connection for the roof mount lights here's our battery zip tied baby zip ties are going to be your best friend to keep these wires kind of not a huge mess I got the rear I didn't attach it to the body I put the rear lights in these little holders here it's kind of like an underglow it looks pretty cool um, it gives you more under light to the rocks this connector here provided to me by remote control hobbies in Portland Oregon the splitter one connects to your servo one connects to your light kit from lit led lights check them out they're awesome great customer service <coughs> so uh, one thing i might have to modify is the wire sticking out i kind of like it i kind of don't the only reason i'm okay with it right now is because it's the same color as the truck red and black uh maybe someday soon I'll figure out how to disguise those a little bit more I use my reamer to make a hole in the bed perfect circle to get that cord through there
this tool right here. Get yourself a reamer if you're planning on doing some body modifications. Don't fall. All right, so battery should be charged by now. Let's check her out. Let's check her out. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you have already seen this with the lights installed running with my Chevy C10. Pretty cool pictures. Check me out on Instagram, A Rods RC. Check me out on TikTok, A Rods RC. So we got our battery connected. Thing is, I, if this power button is already kind of hard to get to with these wires here now. Um, you need some help. You need, I need something to get in there and turn it on. I got, my fingers aren't small enough. <clears throat> Let's get our radio. Turn that bad boy on. Turn this guy on. There's the headlights. There's the tail lights with the underglow. off real quick huh so there she is all lit up and there's the two under lights for the tail lights these lights are actually pretty bright I can't wait to get out there on the course and test them out at night. I'm trying to get you. Boom. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. My next plan for this truck was to install some RC four-wheel drive wheels and tires. Here I got the just the steel bead locks with the uh, Rock Locks tires. They're pretty smooth, pretty awesome looking. I think the steel would look pretty good on this Ford. But all the nut drivers I have won't fit in between those five, those six little mini lug nuts. So I have to go to the hobby store today and find a hex head that will fit in between there so I can install these wheels. Look at that, huh? Huh? It's going to be pretty smooth. He's got a lot more grab to him as well. Can't wait. Alright. That's the lights for the Charisma MSA1 E Ford. One of uh, the first of many upgrades for this guy. Like I said in previous videos, this is probably my favorite, my favorite, probably because of the body. I like Fords. You're going to be getting some new shocks for this guy and putting some wheels on it. It's a fun hobby. <laughs> All right. That's it. Until next time. Peace out from Aaron's RC.
A-Rods RC.